good evening everyone hello hello good evening uh good evening guys uh welcome and thanks a lot for joining hello can you hear me me lo haren escuchar can you hear me well are we doing fine Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Or, like, very, very nice here. Already. So, uh, well, guys, good evening. Welcome to module number four. Welcome to basic level. And uh, really nice to have you guys. Uh, let me just take a look here. Let me organize my cam. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, guys, so eh, bienvenidos, bienvenidos al módulo número cuatro. Es excelente tenerlos por acá. And, uh, wow, I see names. Okay, let me just take a look really quick. Guys, eh, quick question. Eh, todos son, eh, es la primera vez que están con nosotros. Is this the first time? or ya venían juntitos, or ahorita se unen. So tell me about it. ¿Es la primera vez con nosotros? ¿Es it the first time? No. No, teacher. No, teacher. Oh, okay. Perfect, perfect. Sounds really good. Okay, guys. So en ese caso, eh, nice to have you again. Welcome to this program. And um, creo que es la primera vez eh, que um, están conmigo, right? Algunos no, no reconozco sus nombres. So uh, I'm going to take that it is the first time. And uh, well, guys, eh, mi nombre, eh, my name is Julia Sarceño. Voy a estar trabajando con ustedes este módulo. I'm going to be working with you. Dame un segundo, solo quiero ver sus cámaras, because Por alguna razón, no sé qué está pasando y no los veo a todos. I don't see in everybody. Okay, there we go. So, good evening, Sandra, Dalila, great to see you. Good evening, Joel, and welcome. So, I see Claudia, gracias por la cámara, guys. Cesar, good evening. Uh, Juan Antonio, great to see you too. Uh, Mr. Reyes, Jonathan, good evening, guys. Uh, Claudia, thank you for the camera. Uh, Karen, Carlos, Carlos. No, I have to Carlos. Okay. All right, guys. So tell me, how was that? Eh, tuvieron bastante vacación? Did you have a lot of vacation or one week, two weeks? How long was that? Uh, no tuvieron vacación, you didn't have any vacation, no yes. days off. Uh, one week. Yes, one, one, only week. one week. Yes. Okay, well, that's amazing, I think. That's really nice in that case. Well, guys, and uh, so, but me alegra mucho, you know, that uh, son apenas las ocho cinco, ya los veo conectados, and I see you with the camera. So, esas son muy buenas uh, noticias because creería que por el resto del módulo it is going to be this way. Uh, now, well, vamos a, a revisar un poco eh, más adelante parte de las eh, políticas que ustedes ya conocen con respecto a las tareas, los porcentajes, tiempos de conexión and everything. Eh, but in the meantime, eh, quiero conocer los guys. I want to know you. Uh, I want to know your expectations. If you have like some expectations here, uh, si tienen, you know, algún requerimiento especial, any special request, or me gustaría saber, you know, uh, si trabajan hasta tarde, because eso es bien importante saber. Si llega temprano a su casa o si hay alguien que todavía ve en camino, you know, uh, or a veces el tráfico nos afecta bastante la conexión. And, and those are really uh, important, some important things. So, hi, Jorge, good evening. 
Great to see Hi. you. Good evening. How you doing? I'm fine. Great. That's really Good great to hear. There. Oh, it's really nice to, to have that. Eh, Cecilia, yo creo que tenemos problemas con la camarita, pero creería que es por las actualizaciones de Insa. Or, si gusta, la puede mantener encendida, you know, le va a estar ahí flickering. Uh, en cuando terminemos, tal vez pueda hacer la actualización y en la cámara le va a aparecer normal. So it is going to be normal. Hello, as, teacher. As well, Hi, good evening. Already, guys. So um, I I don't know. Can uh, would you like to share, guys? Uh, so if you have any special request, un poquito de información, like donde viven, where do you live, or where do you work, what do you do, um, like si han tenido algún request con alguna ability que quieran practicar a little more or anything that would be really good. So, volunteers, do we have any volunteer to get us started? Oh my goodness, okay, let's start with some big teams. So, yo veo a Joel super listo. So, Joel, let's get us started with you. <laughs> Lo que nos quiera compartir, like anything you want to share with us, that's nice. Uh, okay, hello. Uh, Hi. Good evening. Uh, my, uh, well, my name is uh, Joel Alberto. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I work to a, a from 12. Is, um, a part-time? Uh, do you have a part-time job? Um, no. Medio tiempo? Ah, yes, 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 medio okay. tiempo. Uh, uh, I, I studied I study in, in the afternoon. Ah, very nice. What do you study? In, in the university. Ah, okay. What is your career? Yes, in this in bachelor so, so, sociology. Sociology, okay, okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Nice, yeah. so you work in the morning, you study in the afternoon, and you yeah. have English classes at night. At night, okay. Wow, Correct. okay, that's, you are really busy. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Joel. Joel, where do you live? Uh, I live in Soyapango. Oh, okay, okay. But I imagine termina temprano las clases. I believe you finish early. Uh, uh, yes, um, uh, finish to um, five, five p.m. Five. Ah, oh, okay, okay, that's nice. Sounds good. Thank you, Joel. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you. So uh, Joel, selecciona la siguiente persona because todos quieren participar. You know they are with the microphones ready, <laughs> so you can select next person. Um, me. Mm -hmm. Yes, please select. Um, yes, um, Carlos Alfredo. Okay, so Mr. Reyes, nice meeting you. Hello, good teacher. Hi. My name is Carlos. Uh, nice to meet you, Carlos. Where yes, do you live? I live, I live in Guaymas. Guaymango. Aguachapan. Oh my goodness. But do you work in San Salvador? I, I work in the city hall. But in Guaymango. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. So do, do you live close to your house? Vive cerca de su casa? Do you live close? Uh, eh, I. Five minutes? Yeah. A cinco minutos de su casa? En vehículo, yes. Oh, Bye. wow. <laughs> okay. So, se va caminando, I believe. En, en, en bus. 
Okay, you go by bus. Oh, wow, by five minutes? Well, I mean, the, that's really close. Te ahorra todo el tráfico de San Salvador, soya, you know. Okay, that's really nice. Um, Carlos, what do you do? What is your job? ¿Cuál es empleo, Carlos? What do you do? Uh, soy es como auxiliar de Wasi. De... Okay, so trabaja y... con finanzas. Okay. Y además soy el responsable de la unidad animal, bienestar animal. Ah, okay, okay. Nice. Sounds really interesting. Okay. So, but it's más como financiera, I believe, right? Contrataciones, eh, like. Claro. Uh, okay, okay. So, contracts. Good. De hecho, este, este módulo tiene un poquito que ver, you know, con el área financiera, compras. So, definitely. I'm looking forward um, de escucharlo, you know, y que, que nos, nos comparte un poquito de lo, de lo que sabe. That would be really nice. Okay, so nice to meet you, Carlos. Um, so, Juan Antonio, yo lo veo like super ready. Lo veo bien ansioso to participate. So, please, no further delay. Let's go with you. Hello, teacher. Hi. My name is Antonio. I live in, in Cocatlán. Exactly in San Pedro, Perú, La Panca. Ah, okay. But, ¿trabaja cerca? Do you work um, close? No. Trabajo en San Salvador. Oh, okay. No, oh. Si me, a mí se me toca. No what, what time? What time do you get home? ¿A qué horas llega? Uh, Seis, seis de la tarde. Dependiendo. Ah, llega, llega temprano. Yo Porque salgo dear. temprano. Ah, ok. What time? What time do you finish work? Eh, a las cuatro y media, digamos. Mm, ok, but it's one hour and a half. Mm, uh -huh. Ok. But Perú La Pan is very close to uh, Cojuta, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, I'm bad with geography, but I got it. <laughs> okay, nice, nice okay. to hear that. Okay, so six. Oh, ya descansó entonces, so, you know, le queda tiempito para relajarse un poco, right? Así es. Kind of good. All right, sounds good. Um, Dalila, let me go with you. So, do you prefer, guys, your first name? Dalila normally is Dalila, but do you prefer Dalila, Dalila? So, what is better for you? Hello. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Yes, my name is um, Dalila Villail Hernandez Miguel. Um, I live in Ilopango, San Salvador. Right. Um, I am 27 years old. So um, I am a service executive in Flavio Salvador. And I have the leader in the last Okay, I'm I'm sorry, I, I missed that part. You mentioned that you are as um executive secretary. Is that so? No, executive. Right. Ah, you work in sales. Ah, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I missed the company. What is the name of the company? Claro, hello. Oh, you work for Claro. Okay, okay. But do you live like here in the downtown? Vive en San Salvador? Do you live in San Salvador yeah. too? Yeah, in El Pango. Oh, okay. And no le afecta el tráfico? Like, traffic is not bad? Very bad. Okay, okay. Pero llegó hace ratitos a su casa. Like, you got early. Eh, hace como unos 20 minutos quizás. Ah, no, ok, sí, sí llega tarde. You get there kind of late. Ok, thank you. Uh, so, ¿Es Dalila ok for you o do you prefer Abigail? What do you prefer? 
mis preferencias. Mm, no, I mean, eh, do you prefer Dalila or do you prefer Abigail? Okay, um, ¿Cuál de okay. sus dos nombres prefiere? Abby. Oh, okay, so Abby. Okay, thank you, Miss. Nice meeting you. So I'll try to remember. So I got Joel, I got Carlos, Abby, and I have. Eso me hizo la otra cámara. Where are you guys? Okay, and I got Juan. Juan, what do you prefer? Do you prefer Juan? Do you prefer Antonio? What is better for you? Como sea. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Sounds all right. Thank you. Uh, I have Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Nice meeting you. Uh, well, I, my name is Sandra Molina. I work at UCA. I live in Ciudad Futura, Costa Tancingo. Okay. And I start to work at 7 a.m. And I finish to 4 or 5 o'clock. I arrive oh. to home for six or seven. Oh, the but you are like, uh -huh, you get early <laughs> because yes. five is the rush hour in San Salvador. Okay, yes. but I'm glad. So you work at UCA, but are, yes. are you a, a professor or do no. you work in administration? No, I work in the library. Are you a librarian? Yes. Oh, okay. Wow, so perfect. Ya sabemos a quién pedir referencia de libros. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Thank you, Sandra. Um, I see Claudia right there. So hi, Claudia. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I prefer call me Yvonne. Yvonne, okay, that's all yes. right. <laughs> I work in GBM El Salvador. Mm -hmm. I live in Santa Tecla. All right. I am system engineer. Oh, okay. And I like to listen to music. Oh, sounds good. Do you mention uh, you work in GBM? Yes. Uh, what is that? <laughs> uh, GBM is in San Salvador. Okay. And Loma Linda, San Benito. Okay. But uh, what is the company about? It, it's about uh, technology. Oh, okay. Are you a programmer? Software, hardware? No. I am. Um, or architecture is no system, IT. system engineer. Okay, but I am system no is... engineer. But I, I, my job is um, incident manager and coordinate co coordinate. Yeah, coordinate a, a meeting of as a specialist oh, and okay. and support it's, uh it's more... application and 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 servidor servers servers ah, okay so it is more administration like like yeah. manager manager's position yeah. Ah, okay yeah because ahora hay muchas otras um, you know como empleos relacionados con uh engineering that's why yeah. Yeah, I have escuchado una nueva that is new for me. Que es um, ingeniero, no wait, es arquitectos de tecnología, something yes. like that. I think. Yes. So yeah, there are like a lot. Yeah, is that in infrastructure in general? That one, yes, exactly. So that's why I was like, ahora ya, yeah, I need to ask. <laughs> but it's all right, <laughs> sounds good. So I got Yvonne, I got Sandra. I have, I'm missing a couple, I get Cesar. Hi Cesar, how you doing? Hello. Hello. Hello there. 
Um, good evening, first. <laughs> um, How are you? More or less. Okay, okay. Um, okay, okay sir. Tell us a little bit about you, please. Um, I live in Soyapango. Okay. I job I job in in web help in account of Bianca. Okay. And in, for the um, in the um, Avenida Los Proceres. Okay. Okay. Um, no sé qué más. <laughs> oh, that, that's okay. Uh, are you are you studying? I mean, apart from English, right? Besides English, or or is that full time? Is that tiempo completo? Are you full time? For ahorita solo inglés. It inglés y trabajar. Oh, okay, okay, great. Sounds good. Porque significa que vamos a tener espacio para tareas. <laughs> okay, nobody <laughs> likes that word, but that sounds okay. <laughs> but I'm glad. <laughs> La, la, la parte positiva es que su empleo ya requiere un poquito de inglés, right? Eh, la mayoría de sistemas de Common English y tiene la oportunidad de pasarse a la cuenta bilingüe. Que no sé si es el objetivo, you tell me. Pues la verdad sí. Es I el objetivo. Ok, ok, sounds good, sir. Eh, definitely es algo que podamos lograr, right? Eh, Y con esfuerzo, dedicación, guys, y mucha práctica, y we can make it. So I'm really glad. Thank you so much, Cesar. Um, veo por acá, Mr. Amaya. So I have Carlos Alfredo, Carlos Amaya. Creería que por los apellidos nos vamos a ir, because I don't know if we have more Carlos here. <laughs> so Mr. Amaya, let's go with you. Good evening. Good evening. I am Carlos Amaya. I'm from San Miguel. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Yes. Are you in San Miguel right now? Yes. Okay. Yes. I work in a photo studio. Okay. Are you a photographer? Um, photo editor. Okay. Photographer. Wow. That's amazing. Yes. That's really good. My hobby is to take pictures, you know, so I'm like, wow. Okay. Sounds really good. Yes. Um, what is the objective with English? Como va a utilizar English at work? Um, I am learning English just because it's my favorite language. Oh, and, okay. Okay. It, with the program that I edit photos, um, the okay. program is in English. Oh, okay. Which one yeah. are you using? Photoshop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Todos los updates vienen en inglés too. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, but that's really nice. Really glad that you like English here. Uh, it's a nice meeting you. ¿Cómo es el clima por allá, Carlos? Because here is very hot. Caluroso, so I guess yes. that is pretty hot as well. All right. Nice meeting you. I'm missing a couple. I have Jorge. Jorge, can you introduce yourself? Carlos, ¿por qué me paga la cámara? <laughs> That's all right, Carlos. Um, Jorge, are you with us? Hi, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is, is Jorge Alberto Lopez Orellana. I work in uh, Bank of Catalan. Uh, I, I am outsourcing in technology. I am a programmer of computer. And I live in Ayutuxtepec. Uh, um, I I like uh, listen to music and and I try to to talk English. That sounds good, Jorge. Um, well, guys, for you to know, Jorge and I met before, so <laughs> we kind of worked together in a module. Uh, Jorge, but su voz suena diferente. Your voice sounds a little different. Are you see? 
Yeah, teacher Esther is... Uh, oh, me duele un poco la garganta. Yeah. Ah, ok, yeah. You yes, see, yes. Yeah. mi oído, mi oído, guys, es bien agudo, especially <laughs> in this kind of classes, porque a veces me pagan la camarita y no like, ah, la voz suena diferente. Yeah, yeah, yeah teacher. Te lo escucho un poquito más ronco, but espero que se mejore. I thank really you, hope teacher. you okay. get better. Thank you. Okay, so thank you, Jorge, for that. I'm missing Cecilia. I don't know, Cecilia, if you're there. Hi, teacher. Hi, Miss. How are you? Uh, bye. Great, great to hear that. So tell us, Miss, cuéntenos un poquito de usted. Tell us about yourself, please. My name is... Cecilia Hernández. I live in La Paz, Solo uh, I have 26 years old. Uh, I work in San Salvador, in San Benito. Okay, very nice. My family is from Olo too, you know, so I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Uh, what do you do, Ceci? Uh, I am um, administrator of the Okay, okay. Like a manager? Mm, sí. Okay, like a store manager. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Do you prefer Ceci, Cecilia? Is that okay for you? Mm, Ceci. Ceci, okay, perfect. Thank you, Miss. Um, I'm missing Jonathan. Jonathan, are you with us? Hello, teacher. Hi there. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Jonathan. Well, I, my name is Jonathan Herrera. I live in Aguachapá. Okay. Uh, I work in City Hall. Okay. Uh, uh, I live two minutes from my work. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, I, uh, my expectation mm -hmm. is to learn more vocabulary, vocabulary okay. and speak um, 50 percent of the English language. 50, okay. Oh, pero solo para este curso, just for this course. <laughs> <laughs> Espero terminar todos los módulos, teacher. Uh, okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Eso es mucha presión. That was a lot of pressure on me. Okay. Oh, but I'm glad. Yes, that's really important. And as you said, you know, eh, creería que al finalizar el módulo va a ser más del 50% que vaya a poder comunicarse eso. Eh, no worries about it. I'm pretty sure. You Esa es mi it. meta de vida. Esa es mi meta de vida. Oh, no, but I'm sure. No, I'm no, really no. sure you can make it. Ya va a ver que sí lo va a lograr, así que no se preocupe. No worries. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for that. Lucky you. Qué suerte de vivir súper cerca del empleo. Very, very good. Okay. Uh, I think I have, like, Karen, I think I saw there. Yeah, Karen, tell us about it. Esta por acá, Miss, are you around? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Um, good evening, everybody. I'm Karen Leon. I'm a floor manager, and I work uh, some days in my house and other days in the office. Okay. And, um, I am uh, um, like a boss but I have a boss too. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. You mentioned that you are a floor manager. Um, is that for a call center by any chance? No, it's a manufacturing. Oh, okay. Interesting. Where do you work? In Condesa. Eh, manufacturing eh, brasieres for uh old woman oh okay very nice sure. yes 
Uh, okay, so it's just manufacturing. Okay, perfect. Uh, is, is Karen okay for you? Are you okay with Karen or Leticia? Karen, I don't oh. like Leticia. <laughs> okay, not even Leti? No. Okay, okay. I feel the same way, no worries. Okay, perfect, nice meeting you. And I'm missing Ivan. Hi, Ivan or Ivan, I don't know which one you prefer. Are you here? Are you with us? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Uh, how are you, teacher? Um, I'm great. My, my name is Ivan Del Cito Bar. I live in uh, La Libertad. I work in um, Bocaolas. Okay. Uh, Tunco Beach. Um, wow, nice. Okay. <laughs> Um, oh, what do you do there? What right? is your job? What is your job? Oh, is your uh, is assistant administrative? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Are, um, are you there right now? Ahorita está trabajando. Are you working? I don't know, teacher. Or está en su no. casa. Are you at home? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Sí. Um, okay. Um, um professional uh, profession um industrial engineering okay okay um i i live um, um listen to music uh, so, okay. so so i watch tv uh play soccer okay um all right all right, all right, sounds really good. So thank you so much. Um, is Ivan okay for you or do you prefer Ivan? Um, Ivan or Ivan. Okay, okay. Yeah, because it's like the most common one. All right, guys, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Okay, let's compare un poquito. Uh, well, you know, I have been required so I'm gonna show you here a little bit about me. My name is Julia Sarceño, but please, uh, you can call me Miss, that's okay, or teacher. Si me quieren llamar por el nombre, no hay ningún problema, but please, no me llamen Julia, call me Julie. As, as uh, some of you, you know, me siento como una señora when they call me Julia. So just Julie, I'm okay, or Miss, I'm okay with that. So I have more than 10 years of experience uh, teaching English. And for this program, English for Work, I have around five years working for Insafor. And I have a bachelor in English teaching and my second career is industrial engineering. Um, I have some experience, you know, at universities too, and this is a little bit about me, right? So guys, um, officialmente welcome to module number four. Espero que, as I think Jonathan mentioned, no vamos a aprender todo de una sola vez. I'm not going to promise <laughs> um, that by the end of the module, Eh, van, a, uh, van a entender like a big, big thing. Pero sí, um, my, my, mi compromiso, guys, my compromise with you es que para el final del módulo sí van a tener un poquito más de vocabulario, un poco más de fluidez. And what I can promise you es que con su esfuerzo, guys, podemos lograr mucha más confianza al momento de hablar. So that is something en lo que vamos a estar trabajando, right? Because eh, en los módulos más bajos es bastante normal que nos dé pena que no participemos sometimes por el miedo que nos mata a que me van a corregir, a que no lo estoy diciendo bien. And es lo que vamos a empezar a trabajar little by little. So my expectation, guys, with this module, eh, primero es que me ayuden con sus camaritas, because I want to know you're here, porque sí es importante saber quiénes están acá, you know, si en algún momento tienen que levantarse, tienen alguna situación, 
nos lo pueden escribir en el chat, right? Like, ya regreso, o me voy a levantar, o something, para saber que en ese momento no están. Because eh, se siente un poquito raro, you know, como sesión espiritista, llamar Joel, en Joel ya ha dormido, you know. So, just in case uh, estén enfermos, or something happens, sí les pediría, guys, eh, que nos lo escriban por ahí en el chat, right? Para saber, you know, eh, que tal vez solo están escuchando o están trabajando eh, en, tal vez no van a poder participar en that very moment. Díganos, Cecilia. Miss, no le entendí muy bien sobre cómo me dijo de la, lo de la cámara, que porque me, por la nueva actualización. Eh, sí, creería que hay una actualización de Zoom. A mí me pasó hace un par de semanas. Eh, pero ahorita a mí, si gusta, manténgala así, keep it that way. Si la enciende, va a ver que va a empezar a ponerse loca. And, eh, y al terminar la sesión, puede actualizarla. Uh, le va a parecer que hay una actualización pendiente. La actualiza y ya eso, eso lo arregla. So, yeah. ah, okay, mis que, si la enciende, va a ver la cámara de todos acá. <risa> yeah, no, no worries, no se preocupe. Ok. So, um, now guys, um, something else uh, that I think is super important. Si se recuerdan, las políticas más o menos son las mismas que ya les han comentado desde el módulo 1. Eh, primero, esta es una beca completa, guys. Que si ustedes ponen su esfuerzo, si se conectan todos los días, eh, al menos 120 minutos, right? Eh, que es lo requerido por el programa, al igual que la nota de 8 para pasar, usted tiene confirmado hasta que usted termine los módulos avanzados. So, no tiene que pagar nada adicional, right? Eh, siempre y cuando we comply with that. Y es de aprovecharla, cause, eh, si ustedes van a revisar ahorita el costo de eh, cuánto cuesta, right? Inscribirse en un curso de inglés, uh, pues es dinero que sale en nuestros bolsillos. Así que, guys, my recommendation is Aprovechemos este espacio. Eh, ya que estamos acá, hagamos lo mejor que podamos. Practiquemos inglés tanto como sea posible. Right now, eh, estoy hablando un poquito de español because eh, quiero que se acostumbren a mi velocidad, a mi tono de voz. And, uh, tal vez al inicio, eh, nuestro oído obviamente va a tomar un poco de tiempo para que se vaya acostumbrando. Pero uh, a medida que el módulo vaya avanzando, vamos a empezar a subir la la cantidad de inglés que vayamos hablando, el porcentaje de inglés, eh, para que no nos acostumbremos a solo español, right? Because no es eh, positivo que vayamos traduciendo inglés a español. That's not a good idea. Porque de alguna manera tenemos que presionar a nuestro oído que se vaya acostumbrando también, right? So, um, si en algún momento sienten que voy muy rápido o... Me emociono, you know, hablando en, y voy corriendo. So, dígame, teacher, can you slow down? Uh, or, oh, I'm going to write it here. So, can you slow down? So, slow down is like, puede bajarle, right? Puede bajarle revoluciones, puede hablar un poco más lento. Can you say that slowly? And I'm okay, and I, I will understand um, that I'm going too fast. Now, eh, lo que sí espero, guys, es que las expresiones que ustedes ya saben, lo que ustedes ya aprendieron, módulo 1, módulo 2, módulo 3, ya las utilizamos en inglés, right? Uh, que si usted puede decir, por ejemplo, él es alto, ya no me diga él es alto, ya yo sé, he is tall, or he is not tall, or uh, can I ask a question? Ustedes ya practicaron pasados. Esperaría que you know, esos verbos que nos costaron del módulo 3 los repitan todos los días, los practiquen todos los días, right? And eh, espero el día de mañana poder enviarles una lista de vocabulario para que vayan repasando módulo 1, 2, 3. Y en todas las semanas o todos los días antes de iniciar con el tema, se les voy a estar preguntando, right? Para que nos vayamos recordando los verbos en pasado, eh, palabras tal vez que ya se nos vayan uh, olvidando o el vocabulario del día anterior, right? And, y si les pido que un par de minutitos antes de las clases, cinco minutos antes, revisen sus cuadernos, revisen sus notas, 
en revisen vocabulario, right? Because, eh, no sé si les pasa, pero aprendiendo inglés, lo, el problema más difícil a, algunas veces es recordarse el vocabulario. Ya lo vimos, pero el siguiente día ya se me olvidó. Or, guys, ¿cuál es lo que más, ¿qué es lo que más les está costando up to this point? Es module 4, todo va a tener un proceso claro, but hay algo que sientan que eh, les está costando mucho, like too much for this. O oh, están bien hasta ahorita, are you feeling okay? Sienten que van avanzando. Yes, yes Joel. Um, it's very difficult is in, in listening. Okay, okay. ¿Por el acento o por la velocidad? ¿O el vocabulary? Mm, vocabulary, quizá. Ok, ok. So, escucha una palabra y no logra eh, ubicar qué significa. Like, yes. You cannot make it. Ok, so vocabulary. Ok, so listening. All right, déjenme ver de qué manera puedo eh, enviarles ejercicios adicionales o incluir ejercicios adicionales durante la clase para que al menos eh, every day tengamos un ejercicio like two minutes max uh, we can do that all right anything else guys aparte de listening los verbos en pasado si ¿sí se recuerdan so so the participle the participle Participle. Ok. Uh, participle, de hecho, creería que hasta este módulo y el próximo lo vamos a comenzar. Has, um, vamos, a vamos a ir trabajando progresivamente en eso. Ok. But listening and verbs. Ok. Cool. All right, guys. So, in the meantime, eh, si hay otro request that you may have. Eh, me lo pueden escribir por acá y yo tomo notas. So, eh, vamos a iniciar like this module en el camino, you know, vamos a, a irnos conociendo a little bit more. Eh, sí quiero escucharlos, quiero escuchar sus voces, guys. Quiero organizar like in my, in my head here uh, cómo suenan, because a veces por la cámara o a veces la cámara está off, pero sí identifico las voces, you know, and that's really important. In the meantime, eh, we're going to get started. Eh, tengo una actividad por acá. And uh, no sé si son muy buenos con este tipo de actividades. So let's take a look what, it, what happens here. Um, if you look at my screen, si logran ver mi pantalla, guys, there are two pictures on my screen. And this is identify the differences. So in my picture, I think the differences. There are five small differences, but super small. Si están en el teléfono, pueden ampliar la pantalla. You can zoom it a little bit, porque si no les va a costar a little. If you are in the computer, well, picture is bigger. So guys, can you spot the differences? Logran encontrar las diferencias? Can you look at them? Um, tienen, pueden anotar en mi pantalla, you can take it there. Si están en la computadora, eh, se van a los tres puntitos donde dice más y eh, escogen anotar. If you are in your cell phone, en la parte de abajo les aparece un lápiz, le dan clic y ya pueden escribir sobre mi pantalla. So guys, I'll give you one minute. Hay cinco diferencias. There are five differences. Uh, let's see. Veamos cuántas logran identificar. Let's see how many you get. Wow, I see. Ceci got one. Very good. Okay, yeah, that's one. Okay, nice. Okay, Carlos got two. Okay, very good. Good. Eso fue rápido. That was fast. Me faltan, guys. I'm missing two more.
I find one, but I can't write. You can select it? Okay, yes. I see that somebody got that one. What is it? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Oh, no, ya la seleccionaron. De hecho, what is it, Sandra? Ya la seleccionaron. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. that's bad. Okay, they selected that one. <laughs> wow, they found them. That was fast. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, exactly. They already got it. Wow, that was really good. Okay. Normally, it's an exercise for the Orient, the people super meticulous, you know. I'm glad, guys, and I'm surprised because they terminated very really quickly, and I think I spent like 10 minutes looking for the differences. <laughs> okay, but kudos for you. Very good job. That was really fast. Okay. Um, so look at the picture, all right, and can you describe it? ¿Qué logran ver en la picture, guys? What can you see in this picture? If you remember, para describir lo que vemos, podemos utilizar there is a or there is an cuando es un objeto. Y cuando son más de uno, dos, tres, cuatro, we can use there are, there are two, there are three, there are four. So, ¿qué logran ver en mi in the picture, what do you see in this picture? La pueden describir? Can you describe it? También ya vieron preposiciones. So me pueden decir a dónde están. Where are they? So just Karen, please go ahead. There are three slices of lemon. Oh, I like it. All right. And yeah. two boxes of gift boxes. Okay, sounds good. One leaf or maybe a, 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 a little leaf. Uh, this one? Yes. Okay. But the other is a, a leaf too or? Let me or take a leaf. Leaf. <laughs> Which one? Uh, me... Near near to the, the box, the this this box of the... Like this too? Yes, teacher. They look like... Uh, um, like crumbs. Um, I couldn't say they are leaves. I would say crumbs. So son como um, como migajas de algo, right? They are crumbs. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's a really good one. Okay, and guys. The, and yes. the, the, the glasses, or I don't know how do you say this one. No. No. Glasses. Up. up. Yeah. This one. Is, yes. Okay. What it's is this? Like, like a like a like a medicine bottle. Okay. Okay, so there are well there is only one. Okay. Guys, can I slow it number? What else do you see here? Hay bastantes cosas que contar. Si no saben cómo decirlo, no worries. Encuentran una palabra similar, right? Que lo pueda describir. So that is okay. ¿Logran ver algo más? Do you see anything else? I think it's for prepare oil, oil, aromatic oil, or something like this. Makes sense. Uh, or candles, probably. So, like soap, oil, soap. Mm -hmm. or candles too. Okay, but it sounds good. All right, guys. So, um, actually, yeah, it, this one, but it's como un jaboncito, right? It looks like a soap. Okay, so, vamos a revisar un poquito de vocabula vocabulary in a moment. Eh, mientras tanto, Vamos a describir un par de cosas, guys, that we see um, in the refrigerator. So, um, this is full, probablemente algunos objetos, um, food or fruit or vegetable that you see here. No es como um, very common in El Salvador, but it's okay. Vemos algunas cosas que sí son. 
So again, I'm going to give you one minute. Eh, si quieren anotarlo, it's okay, no hay ningún problema. If not, nos, eh, I'm going to give you one minute, you know, para que lo re revisen, revisen cómo se dice, how to say the words in English, or you get ready. So that is, remember, lo utilizo para cosas que hay un objeto solamente. Y voy a ponerle siempre a or an. There is a, there is an. Si hay más de dos, for example, um, here se ven como una especie de lemon or lime. Como hay más de dos, puedo decir cuántos, right? En ese caso utilizo there are para más de uno. So um, I'll give you, les voy a dar un minutito, I'll give you one minute. Podemos buscar cómo decir algunas cosas que no saben, something that you don't know. Uh, pueden ser bien específicos, right? Y decir a dónde están para que revisemos preposiciones to and anything you can. You can add colors, you can add everything you want. Guys, tenemos un minuto. I'll give you one minute. Intentemos describir tanto como podamos from the fridge y luego nos comparten. Okay, guys, so let's get started. What do you see here? Que logran ver, guys? What do you see in this picture or in this fridge? There are an egg. Okay. There is a apple. Only one? Ah, yes, right, only one, okay. There are a lemon. Uh, pero solo uno o varios? How many? ¿Cuántos logran ver? How many can you see? Five. Five. Ok, so acá sí le podemos poner cuántos, right? Eh, porque son varios. So there are five lemons. Ok. Hey, they there are, are three tomatoes. Just... There are three tomatoes, I guess I heard. But actually no son tomatoes. Well, yo digo que no son tomatoes. Guys, what do you think? Yes, they are tomatoes. They are tomatoes. Okay, yes. that looks good. For me, they look like a fruit. There is a red fruit like that, but no. okay. Okay, no. tomatoes no. is a watermelon. Well, okay, there is a watermelon. Okay, like a piece, right? There is a piece of watermelon. Okay. They are juice orange. Okay, okay, solo cambiamos el orden. There is, um, creo que solo hay uno, right? Entonces podemos decir la botella. Ajá, uh -huh. so there is a bottle. A bottle of juice. Orange juice. Mm -hmm. There is a bottle of orange juice. There are two artichokes. There are two artichokes, yes. The watermelon and another under the watermelon. Exactly, there, so there is there the are, artichoke and another. There are four. Uh, Carl. Four. Oh my God, you counted them. So, si las contó. Okay. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yo hubiera dicho hay varias, you know. Okay, there are four carrots. Good. ¿Qué más, guys? Hay bastantes cosas. There is a slice of cheese. There is a slice of cheese. Where? Uh, 
next to Borges. But okay, um, I believe this one, right? Yeah. Okay, like in front of the or next to the spinach, probably. Next to the spinach. Okay, okay. Que más ven, guys? What else do you see? There is a yellow pepper. There is a yellow. Okay, there is a yellow pepper. Uh, Ivan. Uh, cauliflower. A cauliflower. This one. Yeah. I believe it's a broccoli. Yes. Broccoli. Yeah, that'll be broccoli. There is only, yeah, right. There is only one. Mm -hmm. There is only one. Okay. Alguien más ve algo más? Do you see anything else? There is a, a meal bottle. Ah, okay. So there is a, a okay, a bottle of milk. Yeah. Anything a else? A bottle of Jordan orange juice. Okay. A bottle of orange juice. Okay. Maybe blue some blueberries, teacher. Near to blueberries. This one? Maybe. maybe. But yeah, that may be. So yeah, it can be blueberries. There are some eggs. There are some eggs as well. Okay, very good job. So today actually, guys, vamos a revisar. Algo que se llama countable and uncountable nouns. Que es precisamente esto. Con cuáles utilizo there is. Con cuáles utilizo there are. Y lo hicieron súper bien. You did it very nicely. Normally, cuando hablamos de líquidos, right? Like the orange juice, like milk, or like any juice, eh, es difícil decir un jugo o dos jugos. So podemos utilizar la palabra botella. There is a battery, right? Para contabilizarla y es mucho más fácil. So very nice job with that. Now, um, let's take a look. Revisamos un poquito de cuando utilizamos esas palabras eh, y qué utilizamos para describir, right? Cuando tenemos más de uno. So, give me one second here. This moved. So, I have it here. Okay. Now, take a look at the following. Um, it says here, countable and uncountable nouns. Para no confundirnos, vamos a considerar que los countable nouns, los primeros, the first, vamos a llamar countable a todos aquellos que les podemos pluralizar. Right? Todos los que les agregamos S o lo podemos pluralizar, they are countable. Uncountable. So, uncountable words normalmente son los que no pluralizamos porque no se puede. There are words que no existe la forma plural. No podemos decir varios because we can't. A ellos le llamamos uncountable. So, I'm going to write here, no plural. ¿Cuáles pueden ser algunos ejemplos de uncountable words? Normalmente son todos los líquidos, right? Como milk. No digo milk. Water. No digo waters. So, a eso se le llama uncountable palabras que no tienen plural. No plural words. So, look at this. A veces le llamamos singular también porque no tienen plural, right? So, they do not have a plural. And uh, plural, obviamente, los contables sí tienen plural. That is the difference. Now, take a look at the following. Um, ¿Qué palabras, guys, podemos poner? Wait. Wait, I'm going to include it here. So, ¿qué palabras, what words, uh, podemos agregar que sean contables, countable and uncountable? So, countable words. And uncountable words. Gonna give me some examples, please. There is, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, can you give me examples para countable? ¿Cuáles podrían ser algunas palabras que sí tienen plural? What words have a plural? Money, hacer... eh, Jorge. Money. Mm, la palabra money. 
se considera uncountable y le, le comento porque Manny eh. no le podemos agregar S ajá, entonces es uncountable ya que estamos en uncountable eh, díganme más palabras que no se les agrega S les comenté que líquidos give me examples of liquids ¿Qué other, ¿Qué other liquids tienen en sus casas, guys? Water, ok. Juice. 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 Yes. Oil. Oil. Milk. Oil. Milk. Yes. Coffee. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you say that again? Sausage. Como las salchichas, the sausages. No, sausage. Um, can you write it, please? Okay, um, can you leave it in the chat? No estoy seguro si se refiere a sausage. Um, leave it in yeah. the chat. Okay, um, so, ¿qué otras palabras han visto que no se les agrega a ese? Yogurt. Okay, yogurt. yogurt. Soda. Soda. Okay. A veces soda, si nos podemos referir a la botella y eso sí se puede, but soda no. So take a look. ¿Por qué le llamamos uncountable again? Porque no se les puede agregar eso. So money, nunca van a ver money. Water, waters, las van a ver como una excepción. Juices, mm -mm, it's not common. Oil. Nunca se le agrega ese. Es, ese es el punto why we call them uncountable. Porque no llevan ese. Café. En español yo digo cafés. But in English, I'm not going to say coffees. ¿Qué puedo decir, guys? Si quiero hablar de dos, tres, cuatro eh, cafés. Cups. Three. Cups of cups. coffee. Utilizo cups, las tacitas, right? Water. Si yo le quiero preguntar cuánto toma de agua, no voy a decirle how many waters do you drink. Utilizo otra palabra. What's the word? Bottle. Bottle, ok. O oh, lo más común que utilizamos es glass. glass. How many glasses, right? How many uh, glasses of water do you drink? ¿Cuántos vasos te tomas? How many bottles? ¿Cuántos litros? How many liters? Uh -huh. So, con coffee... Again, utilizamos cups. How many cups of coffee? ¿Cuántas tazas de café? How many cups of coffee? Con la soda, lo más común es que venga en lata, right? So, puedo utilizar latas. How many cans of soda do you drink? So, no pregunto en sí la palabra soda, sino can. Glasses, cups, cans. Eh, utilizo otras palabras que me ayudan, right, para contabilizarlo. Juice, ustedes mencionaban que en la refrigeradora había bottles, right? So, bottles eh, of orange juice, bottles of milk, or a carton of milk. Si hablamos del oil, ¿en qué podemos contabilizar el oil? ¿El aceite cómo lo miden o qué compran? Bottle. Bottle, ok. So probably a bottle of oil, un litro, a liter, right? Thank you, Joel. That's ok. So vamos utilizando otras palabras de ayuda, right? We use a oil. Galen. Eh, which one, Carlos? Galen. Permítame que casi no le escucho. Dígame. A gallon. A gallon? El galón? Yes. Okay. Yes, a gallon. Como la gasolina, right? So a gallon of gasoline. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there are other words. Y la palabra money, no hay forma, guys. So con money, lo que contabilizamos es dollars, coins, pero no la palabra money. So ese es el punto más grande. So now, give me examples of countable. Contable es lo opuesto. A todo lo que ustedes le agreguen S, se considera contable. Por ejemplo. Apples. Lemons. Ajá. Apples. Lemons. Orange. Orange. Ah, sí. Ajá. 
Eggs. Eggs, okay. So apples, lemons, oranges, eggs. There you go. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? La S. And that's why a los countable llamamos plural. And uncountable todo el tiempo van a ser singulares. Right? So, ¿y para qué me sirve esto? Ah, para saber la forma adecuada de decir, de contar qué es lo que hay en un lugar. Si yo quiero decir, hay limones. Yo voy a decir, ah, there are two apples, there are two lemons, there are two oranges, there are some eggs. Y estos, los uncountable, como todo el tiempo son singulares, la única forma de utilizarlos es con la palabra there is. There is money, there is water, there is juice. Ya vamos a ver cómo sí se contabilizan, right? Pero la idea es eso. There are es para plurales. And there is es para palabras en singular. Um, questions, guys? ¿Tienen dudas? Ahorita lo vamos a practicar. No se preocupen. We're going to practice this. Do you have any question? No, teacher. No yet. Not yet. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Really, really good. Remember, las clases son grabadas, so ustedes pueden regresar anytime you want. So, let's move on in that case. Let's, eh, me voy a mover a la siguiente. Si gustan tomar captura, you can do it. No problem. Si no, guys, eh, este material igual lo tienen en su manual. You have it right there. So, take a look. Now, vamos a practicar un poquito la parte de how much and how many. How much es para los no contables. Y ahora es donde viene la aplicabilidad de esto, right? Uncountable word, utilizo how much para preguntar cuántos. En plural o countable word, utilizo how many. So, countable word. So, I have some examples y luego practicamos. I'm going to give you some time. Gracias, Dalaila. Look at this. How much money, como no puedo contabilizar el dinero, utilizo how much. How much money do you need? Guys, how much money do you need? ¿Cuánto dinero necesitan? How much money do you need? I need three dollars. Only three. Oh my God. For a moment. Much. Okay. Okay. Now, ¿cómo, ¿cómo puedo decir bastante? How can I say bastante, guys? Enough. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Because Juan Carlos, Juan Antonio, I'm sorry, dijo three dollars. No, eso es muy poquito. Okay. Cuando hablamos de dinero, podemos decir a little, right? Como un poquito, a little. Eh, enough, decía Karen, lo suficiente. Ok, no, pero lo suficiente tampoco. <laughs> and we have the word a lot, right? So, how much money do you need, guys? A little, just enough, or a lot of money? How much money do you need? I need a lot of money. <laughs> how much do you need? I need a lot of money. A lot too? Ok. I need a lot of money. A lot. Okay. A little no, right? So we need a lot of money. Or si solo necesitamos lo necesario, we can say, oh, enough, right? Enough money, lo suficiente. That is the one. Now let me move to the next. Okay. The person says, I need $10. Guys, $10, ¿cómo lo clasificarían? ¿En a little, enough, or a lot? ¿Cuánto serían $10? Muy poquito. Imagínense que para imagínense que es por almuerzo, right? So you are going to buy lunch. So cuánto serían de dólares? A little? Enough? Or a lot? A lot. A lot. Por almuerzo. Depende. Mercado o restaurante. Ah, very good point. Exactly. ¿Qué va a comer? Where you're going to eat. Y también cuánto come, right? 
It depends how much you eat, okay? So it can be a little for some or a lot for algunas. Look at the next one. We have how much is the booklet or como un libro, right? How much is the book? ¿Cuánto puede valer un libro, guys? Uh, en su especialidad or el último libro que compraron. How much uh, was your book? Ten dollars, five dollars. Nunca han comprado libros. You have never bought a book. Three dollars. Three? Yeah. Three wow. Okay. Que ya tengo tiempo, no compré libros. <laughs> Me imaginé, vi su cara de nunca he comprado. Mira. En mi escuela que nomás compraba las obras, teacher. Ah, uh, ok. No, but, ok. So, three dollars. Y en eso andaban. <laughs> Ah, ok. Como las, las obras, right? The stories. Yes. Okay. yes. Es Sandra. Two or three, three dollars? Two or three. It, but it depends for the literary, literary books. Ok. And um, if, you, if you buy uh, textbooks, uh -huh. eh, the, the minimum. The minimum, uh -huh. the minimum, uh, twenty dollars. Yes, the maximum is is the pen, fifteen or sixteen dollars. Yes, guys, English books. Um, no sé si lo considerarían caro. I don't know how much you think that is, but normally an English book is uh twenty five to thirty five dollars. ¿Cuánto creerían que es eso for you? A little, enough, or a lot? Is that a lot of money? Es mucho dinero, like thirty-five dollars for an English book. Para mí es mucho. For me, it's a lot. A a <laughs> for me, it's a lot. lot. But I don't know, guys. So that is the point, right? Next one. It says here 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. So bucks es otra forma de decir dólares, right? Pero más informal. Si escuchan, give me two bucks. Ah, estamos hablando de dólares. We're talking about dollars. So es otra forma de decirlo. Next one. Oh, look. Ya cambiamos la palabra. How many brothers do you have? Como le escribí plural a brother, ahora lo cambio y pregunto con how many. How many brothers do you have? Guys, how many brothers do you have? I don't have brothers, only oh sisters. Oh, okay, okay. Only, how many sisters do you have? Two sisters. Oh, you are only three. That's good. Do you change clothes? Do you exchange? Yes, teacher, but it's complicated. <laughs> Why? Do you fight? Yeah, yes, because my I am the oldest, and okay. the and the second sister is very careful, but the first, no, it's, it's a disaster. Okay, she's careless. <laughs> okay, but anyways, that happens. I have two sisters, pero no tenemos la misma talla. Thank God, <laughs> we don't share clothes. Okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? How many brothers eh, do you have? By the way, remember, brothers solo son hombres, sisters solo son mujeres. Y si hablo de ambos, if I'm talking about both, ¿qué palabra utilizo para hombres y mujeres? How many? Siblings. Perfect, yes. How many siblings do you have? So, guys, how many siblings do you have? So, siblings, no importa el género, right? Hermanos y hermanas. How many siblings do you have? I, I have, have four. five. Four. How many sisters? Two sisters and two brothers. Oh, so you are five. Yes, I five. Oh, okay, it's not many. All right. Guys, what about the rest? How many siblings do you have? I have one si sister. Only one? No yes. brothers? No. Okay. I have like 20 siblings. So I have a lot of brothers and a lot of sisters. So <laughs> it's a really big family. Okay, guys, what about the rest of you? How many siblings do you have?
Okay, so they, they'll come back. I believe they'll come back. Okay, so let's move on then. Take a look at the next one. And here we have how many books do you need, right? Again, how many is para cuantos? Guys, how many books do you need? Or how many books do you have? Again, como estamos hablando de cantidades, no necesito que me digan un número completo. Como pregunto, how many, ahora yo puedo responder a few para poquitos, some para varios, and a lot para muchos. Guys, how many books do you have? ¿Cuántos libros tienen? How many books do you have? I have some books. No tengo muchos. I have some. How many books do you have? I have some, teacher, but... For me, the most important is the Bible. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, sounds good. I have some books, but everything is in English. So, yeah, I don't have Spanish books. Uh, Sandra, really good question for you. How many books do you have? I, I have uh, 30 books. 30. Yes, uh, but I, I, I give the other persons. Ah, okay. So yes. you had more, you had more books in the past. Yes. Okay. Do you have English books? Uh, I, I lend my books on English. Uh, you lent them? Five. Five books. I have five books in English, okay. but I lend and they don't return. No, my friend, they will never come back. <laughs> That's so sad. So, yeah, cuando prestamos libros, it's like, yeah, they'll never go back. Ellos ya no van a regresar. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, guys, so take a look again. How much lo utilizo para palabras que no puedo escribirle este, no puedo pluralizar. How many para palabras que sí se pluralizan. So, I have a little exercise for you. Eh, ¿Tienen dudas, guys? ¿Tienen questions? Not so, so far. ¿Estamos bien? ¿Are we good? Yes. Yes, teacher. Give me one moment, because I think I lost it. Hold on a second. I have a little exercise for you. And uh, using how much and using how many. Ya vamos también a practicar preguntas eh, para que we clarify this topic. But in the meantime, Oh, this is weird. Oh, wait a second. There we go. Okay, guys, so let's comparto eh, mi ejercicio. I'm gonna like share this exercise with you. Give me just a moment. Ok, ok, guys, so les comparto el ejercicio por acá. Se los voy a compartir en el chat. Eh, I'm gonna share my exercise. En lo único que tenemos que hacer, right, es seleccionar si sería how much or how many. So, by using, give me one moment. Ok, this one says how much and how many. 
vamos a escribir solamente nuestro, eh, el primer nombre está bien, no tiene que ser el nombre completo. It is not necessary. You can just write your first name. Y luego tenemos select how much or how many. So dependiendo, right, de qué es lo que tengamos acá, ¿cuál sería la respuesta correcta? What would be the correct answer, guys? And solamente le vamos a dar, or we're gonna go and, and have a little click into the exercise. Y al final nos va a dar la nota, right? So, guys, les voy a dar uno o dos minutitos máximo para que lo completen. Veamos cómo les va. No escriban su nombre completo. It is not necessary. Con su primer nombre, it's okay, right? So, with your first name, that would be enough. Me confirman, guys, si a todos les abre. If you can open it up. Teacher, este, esta... Sign up, a mí se que inicie sesión para llenar el, pues, el formulario. Oh, y ya le va a pedir que lo inicie. Deme un segundo. Que me ya está second. Ya sé por qué. I know why. Mm, oh, weird. Um, déjeme ver. Let me take a look. Okay. Um, so, solamente dele en actualizar, eh, Jorge, y veamos si nos funciona. Let's check if it works. En teoría no tendría que pedírselas. Y cuál teacher. Oh, that's really weird. Uh, y tiene cuenta de Google. Do you have a Google account? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Solamente registra su correo and, and it should be fine. Un okay. poco raro que se lo pida, but... I finish. Okay, okay, very good. Ok, guys, I'll give you one more minute. Creo que algunos todavía lo están completando.
Okay, thank you, Dalila. That sounds really good. Okay, guys, very nice. So I was checking. Eh, gracias a quienes lo completaron. Thank you so much um, to the ones who completed this one. Let me just take a look at the answers. Let me check answers really quick. Miss, hello. Mi internet está lento ahorita. <laughs> Me carga la página. Oh, okay. No se preocupe, Miss. No worries. Uh, igual el link le queda abierto, right? Para que pueda practicar. So you can practice uh, this one later without a problem. Okay, creo que algunos todavía lo están trabajando. Some are still working on that. That sounds fine. Okay, guys. So we have, for example, um, with... Okay, how many? Interesting. Okay, sorry guys, solo estoy revisando las respuestas, I'm just checking, and some creo que todavía están trabajando en ellas. Are you still working there? Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, pueden ver su nota por casualidad. Can you see your score? I only have one one mistake. In my case, yes, teacher. Okay. Perfect. 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 So, okay, guys. So you should be able. Uh, te les tendría que aparecer la nota y should appear right there. Um, la que veo que tiene mayores dificultades es con la de money, right? Recordemos que la palabra yeah. money no es contable. Mm -hmm. So, utilizamos how much money, right? Uh, that is one. Let me see. Let me see the rest. Mm, okay. Okay. Ok, guys, so pueden, eh, si entraron con el correo, you know, you should be able to get in there y pueden revisar su nota. You can take a look para que vayamos corrigiendo. Eh, for example, tengo water. ¿Cuál se, water is in the ocean. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta, guys? What would be the question? How much. How much. Porque decíamos que utilizamos how much con las que no contamos, las que no le agregamos. S, exactly. Les muestro nuevamente y lo revisamos juntos. Let's take a look together. So, okay, there we go. So, tenemos, por ejemplo, we, for example, have. Uh, uy, ¿por qué me parece marcada? Wait, wait. Okay. For example, I have stars. That would be how many, right? No porque no pueda contar o si pueda contar las estrellas, sino por la S, la convierte en how many stars. People, ¿cuál es con people? ¿Cuál seleccionaron? How much or how many? 
How many people? How much people? How many people? How many? How many? Porque la individual is person y para varios es people, right? Birds. How much or how many? How many? How many birds? There you go. Water. El agua no la puedo contar, right? How so how much? Exactly. Money is in the bank. ¿Puedo contar la palabra money? No. no. La palabra no. dinero no. ni en español, right? Dineros no decimos sino dólares. <laughs> so we count dollars, exactly. Countries. ¿Es contable o no contable? How much or how many countries? How many? How many? How many countries? ¿Cómo sé que es how many? Guys, recordemos how many. Ay, perdón, le estoy poniendo en otro lado. How many es para regalaste. Yo le puedo agregar S. Esa es la clave, right? Bread. Ok, bread es un poquito tricky. En español yo digo panes. But in English, si se fijan, bread ya lleva por acá algo más que nos dice que es singular, que es el verbo to be. Bread is. So, how much or how many? How much is. Es singular, entonces, how much bread. La palabra bread nunca se le agrega eso. So, bread es, es uncountable. Bones, ¿cuántos huesos hay en el cuerpo? How many bones or how much bones? How many. How many. How many. Guys, ¿cuántos huesos hay en el cuerpo? How many bones are in your body? 236. I don't yes, know. 206. Very good. Okay, 206. That's the. Well, creo que ya, right? 206. Okay. Sun is in the desert. How much or how many sun? How, how much. much? How much sun? Y la última information. Otra clave por acá es que vemos el verbo to be. Information is on the internet. How much information or how many information? What do you think? How much? How much information? How much information? Let's send it. Me lo voy a auto Ah, no me parece. Well, uh, Julie and the, la nota, guys, tendrían que verlo inmediatamente. It should appear immediately. Creo que no me la va a tomar. No, ah, no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I can see my score. Pero creo que nos va a compartir el de ustedes. Así que, I don't show it. But that is the one. Very nice. ¿Cómo les fue, guys? Más o menos. Was it good? Not good? Good, good, good. Te digo que más o menos, pero no me apareció una nota. ¿No le apareció una nota? What? No. Y es que no se la quiero decir acá, you know, abiertamente. Tendría que aparecerles así, guys. Si todo está bien, les va a aparecer uno, uno, uno. Right, and on top, normalmente nos aparece, let me see, aparece acá la nota, right? It should appear right here. Entre al link nuevamente, Juan, y vea, eh, vea si le permite ver el puntaje. Si no, yo cero. con gusto se lo comparto. En, en cero me aparece, Tichu. Se me quiero ver. <risa> no, quizás. Ah, ya, ya me aparece bien. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, quizás no se la había actualizado. But sí, ahorita me actualicé y ya me apareció. Perfecto. ¿Cómo le fue? ¿Más o menos o good? Más o menos. <laughs> ok, ok, ok. Ahora, let me just check. Bueno, well, de hecho, sí, creo que tengo la nota mínima, me parece por acá, la media es eh, nueve. So I think it should be fine. Ok. Okay, looks good. Looks good, guys. Give me one second. Okay, okay, very good. So, um, let's take a look at the following part. Eh, tenemos por acá una conversación. We have a little conversation. Y ya vamos a practicar también cómo hacer preguntas with this part of how much and how many. So, I'll show you right here. Uh, I have this following conversation. Está cortita, está bastante fácil. Let me read it. Y luego ustedes me ayudan a leerlo too. So Bob says, what do you need for school? I need pencils, pen, and a notebook. Anything else? Oh, I need plenty of books. 
How many books do you carry in your bag? I carry four books in my bag. That's too many. Yes, let's go to school. And that's the conversation. So guys, uh, repeat with me, please. Vamos a repetir un par de expresiones. We're going to repeat a couple of expressions, right? And uh, you help me here. So tenemos anything else. Tenemos plenty of. Tenemos carry. Uh, tenemos too many, right? ¿Qué, ¿Qué se imaginan que es too many? What do you think it's the meaning of this word? Too many. No es como muy poco, muchos. Como también mucho, no sé. Demasiado. Demasiados, exactly. So many son bastantes, but too many. Esos son demasiados, exactly. So podemos ver algunas veces too much and too many. Ya vamos a ver la diferencia, but yes, es, es demasiado. Okay, guys, so repeat with me, please. Um, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything, anything, anything else? else? Uh, any, uh, let's repeat solo la primera parte. Anything, anything, okay, then, anything, okay, so guys, anything, anything, sounds good, okay, uh, so Juan, anything, anything. Okay, very good. Sí, sorry. Anything? Ay, sí, se me fue a dormir. Where are you? <laughs> sí, sorry. Okay, I think I lost them. All right, so we have anything, right? Sacamos un poquito la lengua para que el sonido de TH eh, salga un poco normal, right? Because no es un sonido que tengamos. Next one, guys. Repeat with me. Plenty of... Plenty of. Plenty of. Plenty of. Plenty of. Okay. Ahora lo hacemos un poquito más corto. Plenty. Plenty of. Plenty of. Plenty of. Plenty of. Okay. So puede sonar de ambas formas, right? Plenty of. Plenty of. So dependiendo que tanto estemos uniendo sonidos. Carry. 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 Okay. Ahora unámoslo con in. Carrying. 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 Carrying your bag. Carrying your bag. Exactly. Se une el sonido, right? Carrying your bag. Solo se alarga un poco. Carrying your bag. And the last one, too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. Okay. Perfect, there we go. So guys, ¿quién nos quiere ayudar a leer? Who wants to read this conversation? Me. Okay, perfect. So Karen, help us with Bob, que es la primera parte. And guys, ¿quién nos ayuda con la segunda? The second person here, que aparece como Susie. Boys or girls? Me. Sandra. Okay, perfect, Sandra. Help us with the second. So Karen, whenever you're ready. What do you need for a school? I need pencils, pens, and notebooks. Anything else? Oh, I need plenty of books. How many books do you carry in your bag? I carry four books in my bag. That's too many. Yes, let's go to a school. Oh, very nice. Okay, the girls sound really good. That sounds really, really nice. So in this conversation, tenemos esta parte de how many, right? How many books do you carry in your bag? Puedo responder con el número four, three, two, pero también puedo utilizar esas palabras, right, que me ayudan a acortar las respuestas un poquito. So take a look at the following. Um, I have some questions for you. And we are going to practice this part a little bit. So, take a look at these answers right here. So, tenemos countable and uncountable. 
Um, y tenemos la primera parte que dice uncountable or singular words. So, let me see. Guys, uh, ¿quién más está por acá? No los logro ver. I cannot see you. I think it's my camera. Okay, Yvonne, please, ayúdenos a leer, help us read eh, the first one. La primera bubble, please. Eh, los ejemplos que tenemos acá, like in pink. Uncomfortable singular. I have much money. I have a lot of, a lot of information. I have a plenty of time. Very good. Thank you so much. And uh, Okay, so uh, Abby, Abby, please help us with the gray. Ayúdanos a leer el segundo, please. The second bubble. Uh, Abby, Abigail. Hi. Okay, um, I'm counting my prayer. I have many books. I have plenty of house. I have a lot of I have a lot of uh, relatives. Yes, relatives. thank you so much. So guys, for example, si les pregunto, how many brothers do you have? Brothers es una palabra contable, so yo puedo decir, I have many brothers, right? Tengo muchos. <laughs> I have plenty of, tengo como muchos. I have a lot of brothers. I have lots of brothers, so tengo bastante variedad para responder here. So many, plenty of, a lot of, right? Eh, hay una palabra acá que hace falta, I'm missing one word, que es a few. Y me falta también some. Eh, for example, si yo quiero decir poquitos, puedo utilizar la palabra a few para poquitos, and some lo utilizo para algunos. For example, guys, how many pairs of uh, shoes do you have? ¿Cuántos pares de zapatos tienen? I can say a few. No es necesario que diga one, two, three. Puedo decir a few, poquitos, some, algunos, or a lot of pairs of shoes, right? Tengo muchos pares de zapatos. Uh, if I ask you how many jackets do you have? So, puedo decir también una, I have one jacket, o tengo unas dos o tres. I have a few jackets, I have some jackets, I have a lot of jackets. And in uncountable, me faltan acá dos respuestas también. Me falta a little y me falta some. Si se fijan, son bastante similares. La única diferencia es que voy a utilizar a little para poquito. Acá utilizaba a few. Pero con en cuanto lo utilizo, a little. Como lo que decíamos, right? Necesito poquito dinero. Um, I need a little money. Look at the example. Él dice, I have much money. Tengo mucho dinero. Pero yo puedo decir también tengo poquito. Guys, ¿cómo digo tengo poquito dinero? I have a little money. I have a little money, exactly. So I tengo bien poquito en mi banco, right? I have a little money in the bank. O tengo un poco, right? No mucho, pero tampoco bien poquito. I have some money, right? O tengo mucho dinero. I have a lot of money, right? Um, guys, how much money, ¿Cuánto dinero andan en su cartera? How much money do you have in your bag or in your purse? How much money or in your pockets or en los bolsillos? ¿Cuánto dinero andan? How much money do you normally have? Yo creo que solo ando un dólar siempre. I have a little money, guys. Only paper. Only paper. No money. Okay. 50 cents. 50 cents, okay. Yeah, me too. Creo que a dollar is the max. ¿Cuánto, cuánto andan? A little money. Yes, a little, right? Creo que todos andamos solo un poquito. A little. Yes, a little money. Okay, that's yes. the one. So a little, un poquito, some, un poco, and a lot of is para mucho. 
So, if you take a look, se parece mucho. La diferencia solamente es en esta palabra, a little and a few para contables. Preguntas, questions, doubts, guys, please, no se quedan con las dudas. Don't keep your questions, you know, yo les voy a preguntar, I'm going to ask you instead, and, uh, and it's really important. Eh, si me gusta, guys, que se quiten todas las dudas, pregunten sin miedo, and si hay algo que no lo comprendieron, go ahead, and volvemos nuevamente sin problema. So we can go back, lo más importante es que you understand para que lo podamos utilizar, right? So we can practice this. So if you got no questions, then let's practice a little. And so take a look at this one. I have this little exercise. Vamos a describir qué es lo que hay, right? So we have countable and uncountable nouns. What do you see in the pictures? Write your answer. Vamos a utilizar a lot of, a few, and a little, right? For example, el, en el, tenemos acá al inicio uh, a few pens. So hay un par de lapiceros. What about in the rest? ¿Qué es lo que logran ver? What do you see in the rest of the picture? No vamos a decir el número, sino solamente vamos a utilizar a lot of, a few, or a little, right? Guys, tenemos dos minutitos, tres minutos máximo, right? Um, Si quieren en el chat lo pueden escribir, like number one, number two. And so, no vamos a hacer oraciones completas, solamente a lot of, a few, que es lo que ven, right? Or a little. O si lo escriben en el cuaderno, that is perfect. And no escriban cuántos, solo a lot of, a few, a little. Two minutes, guys. Okay, guys, so let's take a look. Okay, for okay. Okay, guys, so let's take a look. Um, number one, so the example, I'm sorry, tenemos a few, 
porque son palabras o cosas que podemos contabilizar, right? Solamente como un reminder, si le puedo agregar esta, significa que lo considero una palabra que tiene plural, y a estos les agrego a few, que son poquitos. Si no tienen plural, si no puedo agregarle ese, voy a utilizar a little para poquitos. That's the biggest difference. So, in number one, tenemos a cheese uh, chop. Now, tenemos la palabra cheese. ¿Puedo agregarle esa? A lot of. No. Yes, cheeses no existe, pero tengo bastante. Entonces, I'm going to have a lot, of... a lot of cheese. Exactly. A lot of cheese, lots of cheese. That is okay. All right, next one. I have this one that is milk. ¿Cuánta leche ven, guys? How much milk do you see? A little. Oh, very good. So, a little milk. All right. So there is a little milk. I have three apples. ¿Cuántas apples serían? A few. A few, a few, a few, apples. A few apples. Very good. I have cars. ¿Cuántos carros? How many cars? No me voy a poner a contarlos. Right? No. So a how many? A, a lot, lot of cars. cars. A lot of cars. cars. Very good. There are a lot of cars. I have uh, bread. Pero dijimos, ajá, very good, a little, a little, pero ¿por qué a little bread? Si se recuerdan, les comentaba antes que la palabra bread no existe, no se le puede agregar ese, so that's a little bread, un poco de pan. Si lo quieren contabilizar, lo podemos hacer por piezas, one piece, two pieces, or a slice, right? Books, ¿cuántos libros, guys? How many? A few. A few. A few books. books. Very good. Y la última, ¿cuánto dinero ven? How much money do you see here? A little. A little money. A little. Yes, a little money. Exactly. So little no es como para pequeñitos solamente, sino a little es para cantidades, right? Podemos usarlo para decir poquito. So there is a little money o tengo poco dinero. I have a little money too. So, se pueden utilizar para ambas cosas. Preguntas, guys, dudas, do you have any doubt? Do you have any question? No, teacher. No, no. nothing. We're good. Okay, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, I have one little exercise. Ese sí es un little. <laughs> So guys, tengo un ejercicio para ustedes. I have one exercise eh, for you. Aparte de la plataforma, right, que vamos a completar los ejercicios, vamos a intentar hacerlo eh, diario antes de la clase para que de esa manera vayamos saliendo, nadie se me vaya quedando atrasado. Les pido, guys, for tomorrow. So, primero, uh, complete. Exercise one in the platform. Eh, ahora es la sesión número uno. Please completemos eh, el ejercicio que corresponde a la sesión del día de ahora. So that is a uh, first thing, right? Complete exercise number one. Lo voy a revisar antes de la clase. And por si alguien tiene dudas, questions, or anything, ya los vayamos completando. Now, second thing. Esto va a quedar como actividad adicional, right? Porque si quiero que vayamos revisando vocabulario, I want you to uh, repeat vocabulary and que vayamos creando nuestra base. So para mañana, guys, les pido 10 adjetivos. I'm going to ask you for 10 adjectives. 10. Personality. Adjectives. Pero esos adjetivos personales, eh, vamos a intentar re solamente recordar lo que ustedes ya vieron cuando se describían a ustedes mismos, right? En módulo 1, que hablábamos de nuestra propia personalidad. So, guys, estos 10 adjetivos que sean de ustedes, cómo ustedes se, um, se describen, right? ¿Qué palabras los describen? 
¿Son pacientes? ¿Are you patient? ¿Son trabajadores? ¿Are you hardworking? Or eh, son, I don't know, guys, what, what is your personality like? ¿Son bien cuidadosos? ¿Are you careful? ¿O son muy descuidados? ¿Are you careless? ¿Son olvidadizos? ¿Are you forgetful? Pueden poner negativos, pueden poner positivos, right? La idea es ir, ir recordando un poquito los adjetivos que nos describen. The words that describe our personality. Eh, no busquen palabras súper rebuscadas, right? Uh, no es necesario, eh, sino algo que sí consideren que les puede ayudar para describirse, right? To describe your personality. So, las revisamos el día de mañana. Eh, ejercicio número uno de la plataforma. Si tienen tiempo extra y quieren avanzar con el resto de la plataforma, no hay problema, pueden hacerlo. En the, entre más rápido terminamos, pues mucho mejor, right? That's even better. So guys, eh, con los adjetivos no vamos a hacer oraciones, no vamos a enviarlos ni nada más. Solamente es para que ustedes los tengan por ahí como referencia para que se puedan describir, right? Um, guys, lastimosamente el tiempo se nos fue volando, like time is flying. Uh, we are finishing here, pero antes de irse solo les tomo asistencia. So let me take attendance. Si me pueden ayudar un momentito con su cámara, that would be nice por controles eh, you know, de auditoría en, para que nos quede su rostro grabado y su voz grabada too, que son ustedes. Me regalan confirmación verbal. I have Carlos Reyes. Presente. Eh, Cecilia del Carmen. Presente, teacher. Gracias. César Mengíbar. Presente, teacher. Thank you. I have Claudia Ivonne. I'm sorry, yo sé que no le gusta, but <laughs> that's what it is. Eh, Dalila Abigail. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Um, Iván del Cid. Present teacher. Ok, gracias. Eh, Joel Barrera. Present teacher. Eh, gracias. I have Jonathan. Present teacher. Gracias. Asdrubal, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, Jorge López. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Juan Alvarado. Present. Gracias. And Karen Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Rubio. Creo que no había Claudia here. No, I didn't see Carly. Okay. I have, uh, give me one second. Uh, Catherine. No, Catherine is not here. Minor, tampoco. Uh, Sandra. Sandra Elizabeth. Present. Sí. Present. Gracias. And uh, I have Sylvia. Creo que no ve. Do I have any Silvia? No, I don't. Ok. Los mencioné, los mencioné a todos, right? I mention everybody. Sí. Okay. Mr. Amaya no lo mencioné. No. Dime un segundo. Carlos, Carlos. Carlos Reyes. Carlos. Perdón, Juan Carlos, sí, you're right. Got it. Ok. Ok, guys, solamente les tomo la, eh, la fotito. I'm just going to take your picture, the picture of day one. Eh, so, ah, no sé si creo que tenía problemas con la cámara, but eh, Joel, no sé si está por ahí. Mr. Amaya, solo me regala un segundito. Eh, ¿Me ayuda con su cámara? Please. Para que no nos separe esta dark. Está trabajando, mi Maya. Are you still working? Eh, no. Ah, ok. I yes. thought you were working. <laughs> ok. Looks good. Looks good. Jorge, I love your background. <laughs> That looks very nice. 
Okay, let me take a picture and there you go. Okay, amazing. Okay, guys, so thanks. Gracias por la attendance. Ha sido un verdadero placer. Realmente no he sentido las dos horas, guys. I haven't felt the time. Espero que ustedes tampoco. And uh, uh, gracias por la, por la participación. You practiced a lot. Um, voy a intentar compartirles eh, los, una lista más o menos de vocabulario, right? Que vayamos eh, re, revisando todos los días eh, para que vayamos revisando vocabulario que hayan visto en módulos anteriores. Too. Espero tenerla para el día de mañana. Les confirmo en el grupo, right? Si se las envío o si se las voy a subir en la plataforma. Thank you guys. Gracias a todos. Ha sido un placer. Nos vemos el día de mañana a las 8 en punto. De que descansen. Have an amazing night. Bye, guys. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you. See you.